It's a common question. Which version of scripture should I purchase for myself? Which version should I read for my devotional study or a pastor? I've got a student who's now getting to the point where we want to get her or him uh, their own Bible that's a little bit more of a grown-up Bible. We often give children sort of a kid's version of Scripture. And so this is a common question, and it has to do with which one is maybe more accurate or which one do you prefer for inspirational reading. And basically, biblical interpretation around Bible versions falls into two camps. On the one end of the spectrum, you have uh, an emphasis on word-for-word -word translation from the original language, getting it right. It's okay if it doesn't quite make sense because of cultural differences, get it right, word-for-word. -word. On the other end of the spectrum, there is interpretation for inspirational devotional reading. This is often thought of as a paraphrase or thought-for-thought thought interpretation or paragraph-by-paragraph paragraph interpretation where an author says, here's the original language, but you know, really this is the intent, and so there's some interpretation involved. Two great examples on both ends of the spectrum of interpretation and Bible versions. On the one end, N-A-S-B, trying to be literally word-for-word, word, get it right, to the original language. Another version on this end of the spectrum here is ESV. On the other end, for devotional reading, the most popular modern translation that I use for devotional reading is The Message. It's by Eugene Peterson. It is, uh, that's a, uh, Eugene was a Presbyterian pastor. He just recently passed away. And this is a wonderful inspirational version of the text. You may have something called the New Living Translation. That's a common one that was around in the 70s and 80s also. Which one is best? Well, I would make the case that you need both. And I would recommend that you get either the NASB or the ESV. The message is the one I'd recommend on the other side. And there is another version of the text. If you look carefully here, I'm going to uh, this image of things on the spectrum of interpretation. The NIV and the NRSV are both a little bit of both. They try and take the original text with a little bit of interpretation. And so what I have for my devotional reading is I have an NIV, the message, parallel. The page is literally cut in half, and on one side you see the NIV, on the other side you see the message. So it's a wonderful way to really get a rich interpretation with a little bit of both. For my own study, for devotional study, the commentary I use is the NRSV Study Bible here. And so when I prepare a message, I typically use software that has every version of scripture in it. Uh, but when I read for devotional content, I like to have a hard copy in front of me. Now, if you're wondering where to start or before you make an investment, the free resource I direct everyone to is BibleGateway.com, BibleGateway.com. They have every version of scripture that you want to read, and it's right there readily available for you. You can find uh, parallels online as well, much like this online, where it'll give you one version on the one side and another version on the other. Those are both free. When you go to buy something, I recommend that you have something on both sides, if you're only going to get one Bible and you want a little bit of both, the NIV or the NRSV are good interpretations of Scripture that have some interpretive measure to the original language. If it's really important that you have a scholastic version, the NASB is best, and I think for inspiration, the message is best. So there's a spectrum of different biblical interpretations and approaches to the text getting it really, really accurate on one hand, using some interpretation from the original language on the other. Remember the intent for believers in having their own copies of Scripture is to grow in your faith, to have a consistent connection to God who is revealed in Scripture. You've got to read it. So I recommend above everything else, look around, find a version that you can carry with you. Digital is fine. There's a lot of free apps now. But have a reading plan. Have a consistent day-to-day -day reading plan. I write a daily devotional, 
but I try and follow a plan so that the text that appears for me to write from is picked ahead of time. That forces me to think about what God is revealing to me through scripture, not me trying to tell everybody else what I think is most important. Have a reading plan that goes through a, a wide variety of scriptures. So that's it. What biblical version is best? I think on the one hand, the NASB or the ESV for strict interpretation is great. The message is good on the inspirational side. If you're just going to buy one version, the NIV or the NRSV have a little bit of both in them. So hope that answers the question, which version of the Bible should I have? Keep reading and growing in your faith. God bless. Hey, thanks for listening, and please take a moment to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It, it sounds like a small thing, but it really does make a difference with some of the things I can do on video. Thanks for subscribing to my YouTube channel. As always, it's a blessing to study with you. God bless.